Okay, Chris, I'm going to uh, keep this as brief as I can. I know you're going to delve over the auto here, but uh, I want to kind of talk you through this to give you uh, the best possible understanding as to how Pocket Trainer works and all its features and functions. From your home screen on the BlackBerry, you just highlight the Pocket Trainer icon, select it, that takes you to the home page. But the very first time that you log in to Pocket Trainer, you have to create your user profile. So you enter your email address up there, you select whether you're male or female. You can, uh, now this is set, let me change this here. Um, you can you enter your height and your weight, and based on that height and weight, uh, that uh, determines what your body mass index is, which has a, an effect on the movements that Pocket Trainer selects for you. You enter your, your date of birth there. Then you select here whether you're intermediate, um, beginner, or advanced. You highlight and select, check off all the equipment that you have available. And any equipment that you do not select, Pocket Trainer will not include movements of a, you know for the equipment that you have not selected then you you uh, initially would say create your profile then this is your program recommendation page um, based on the experience level you have chosen it recommends that you work out X amount of times with pocket trainer then we also give cardiovascular uh, guidance as well now we give you because people don't always have an hour to work out we give you the option to select 20 minutes 40 minutes or 60 minutes. Um, people, a lot of people travel or they, they work out at home. Then you can preview your workout before you actually start it. It lets you check it out and get yourself familiar with that workout. You can highlight any of the, these are all the, the exercises for a particular, that, ex, that session for the day. You highlight, you can highlight any one of them, select it, and it shows you two still images the beginning and ending position. Now down at the bottom, you notice the icons there. You can view written description, which is the information. So you can view written description of that exercise. You can highlight and watch video of the exercise. We only show two, three, four repetitions of, of each exercise to keep it short. People don't want to spend a lot of time. Um, then you can view the exercise history for that particular exercise. Then common problems. You know, any common issues that, that somebody might have with that particular exercise, and then we give possible solutions for that. So you just select the back button to go back through the screens. Now once you've looked over all the exercises, scroll down to the bottom, highlight, let's do it, click it, and then that takes you right to the start of the exercise. You notice the start now in the bottom right hand corner flashing that tells you to start now. It tells you what set you're on, how many repetitions to complete. Now down at the bottom, you can still view all that same information that you did in the session preview with the addition of a couple more. We have an alternate exercise button. If you're not able to perform an exercise for any, any reason, select that alternate exercise and it says, okay, Pocket Trainer has substituted a drop squat for the barbell front squat. Select OK, and there's your new exercise. You, again, you can view the, uh, hit the uh, video for any one of those, all, all exercises in Pocket Trainer's program. We have these videos. It shows you how to perform it. Then there at the end, next exercise. You select that next exercise button when you've completed that exercise takes you right to the very next exercise. It says start now, you complete all your repetitions, select next, then that brings you to the rest period page. Now you notice you can enter, you enter the number of repetitions that you completed for a particular exercise, let's say 15, then the, the exercises that require you to use resistance, you enter how much weight you use for a particular exercise and also likewise the repetitions, then you submit that. And that goes into your exercise history. At the bottom of the page, you're able to view, just like you did in the session preview, the exercises for the next set. Now the two exercises here are the same as what we just did because it's only set two of three. Now here at 15 seconds, 
That's a beep that notifies you that there's only 15 seconds left in your rest. You can also view your entire workout down here. If you want to see everything that's coming up, you can view that entire workout and you select that. Now that automatically tells you your rest period's up and you start the next set. So you continue through the entire workout in that manner. Okay, just to show you, after you complete all your sets for the first two exercises, then it takes you to the next two exercises. Next exercise. Okay, so once you've completed the very last set of the session, it brings you to the, the final page. It tells you, great job. You know, again, you enter all your weight used for a particular exercise, the repetitions, just like previously. And then um, at the end there, you can uh, also review your entire workout. If you want to take a look back and, and see what you accomplished, uh, you can do that as well. Uh, what you can access within the BlackBerry menu. Now when you first log in to Pocket Trainer, we have two videos that we actually require the user to at least begin to watch. They can exit out of it. Uh, but again, we try to use Pocket Trainer as an educational tool as well, not just do this. Uh, we try to explain to you what we're doing and why. We give a core activation video. Hi, I'm Robin Rui. And I'm Eric and we're the creators of Pocket Trainer. Pocket Trainer is the most comprehensive yet user-friendly fitness application available, but there's something very important we need to teach you before you begin your program, and that's how to activate your core. I won't make you sit through all that, but you get the idea. Likewise, we have a warm-up video. Now, this can be, these can be viewed at any time if they need to, to refresh themselves. Hello, everyone. We're going to talk about a part of your program that is often overlooked. That's a proper warm-up. Also available in the BlackBerry menu, we have quite a few users that are uh, in the UK, so we give the option to uh, use metric units for their height, weight, and the weight that they've used uh, for their exercises. Uh, a tutorial and frequently asked questions page tells you how to use to get the most out of your program. We have we can contact or support if you have a technical problem with, with Pocket Trainer, make a suggestion, a demo workout before you begin your program uh, so you can play around with the functions and features of the program. You can, uh, you can utilize that demo work, workout to, to play around and to get familiar and comfortable with the program. Also, again, are those program recommendations that pop up if you need to update your user profile, uh, workout history, brings you, shows you all the entire movements, all the movements that you've completed throughout your entire program. So, okay, when, when did I perform this depth jump? Okay, I performed it October 18th, November 4th, and also um, today. So, or yesterday, I can't remember what today is. But uh, you can view in your, all of your workouts that, or all of your movements that you've completed throughout the entire program. And that's pretty much it. So I will get this off to you.